Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will be discussing decoupled install, in other words, setting up computers at the factory. Please, like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. During a new server built, you can pre-install the Comvault software, as a software image. After the server is delivered, then the users with adequate privileges, can register the computer at any time, with the Comserve. The administrator, or a designated user, must pre-install the software on the computers, and then deliver the server to respective business unit. If required, the software can be installed silently on the server. This is a new server deployed with Windows 2012 R2 operating system. This server is still part of workgroup and not yet connected to a domain. Apart from operating system, no other software is installed on this server. There is no static IP assigned, and is still using dynamic IP. Let's create a custom package with an answer file. You can create the custom package, using the download manager, or by using the software dump which is already downloaded. We will be using the version 11, future release 24 software dump which we have already downloaded. Before you proceed, you need to know that, while creating the custom package with the answer file, the software will look for an existing Comvault environment, or a server, on which there is an agent installed. If none satisfy, then it will first install Comvault agent on the server, or client, before proceeding with the custom package creation with the answer file. For our video, the software dump is on the ComServe itself. Run setup executable with admin privileges. Choose a desired language, and click next. Please read, and accept the Comvault license agreement. On choose the installation type page, select. Create a custom package to install on a different computer. On select Windows processor type page, select the type of Windows processor that your computers support. On the custom media options page, select advanced, which is package based selection. On select Windows packages page, select all the packages that you wish to add to the custom package. For this video, we will be selecting Media Agent, File System Agent, and Storage Accelerator. By default, the custom package is created in Drive C, in Folder, Custom Package Location. Select the location where you wish to save the custom package. If the folder you plan to use, does not exist, it is automatically created, during the package creation. This page helps you to decide, which custom package options to set, for your custom package. Based on the selections made, Comvault might have to install some third-party packages like, .NET, Python, SQL, etc., and this option helps to get them installed. If any of the agents that you selected requires, .NET Framework 4.0, the installation wizard automatically adds the .NET software, to the custom package. Save user answers in the custom package. This option creates an answer file, which stores the selections that you make, during the custom package creation. If you choose not to save your selections, the package uses the default installation settings, for all ComCell, and agent specific options. Also, you can configure the package, 
to display the options to users during the installation. Created the coupled installation package. Select this option to configure the custom package to skip the client registration with the ComServe computer. During the installation, the client will not establish any connections with the ComServe computer, but remember, the client must be registered after the installation. Do not select automatic registration. Do not select launch edge monitor at the end of install as it opens the edge monitor application automatically at the end of the custom package installation. This application allows you to register the client on which you installed the package with the ComServe computer. On the custom package instance selection page, by default, use an existing instance is selected. You can select the option, create new instance, but with this, there is an issue. Let's discuss with an example. Let's say, you have installed Convault software on a computer, with custom package, and it failed, or errored out, then, when you use the same package to resume, repair, or reinstall the software, then you might see a new Convault instance created. To avoid such a situation, select choose an existing package, and select an instance number from the list. By default, Convault tries to install software on drive C. Uncheck the option, let setup choose the location during installation, so users can choose another location, apart from drive C. As we have selected media agent for install, on this page select the location for the index cache. Click yes, on the pop-up window recommending to have at least 200 GB of free space on the selected drive that hosts index cache. On the miscellaneous configuration options, choose appropriate ones. Configure this software for laptop desktop or configure as network gateway. Keep this option checked to create process manager shortcut. Please note. If show to users option is not selected on the page, then user will not see those pages during install. It is now preparing to create custom package, and performing needed additional configuration. The following screens will appear, only if you plan to save your answers, or selections, during the custom package creation. The installation wizard requests information related to the ComCell environment. On the client computer information page, you see the format of client name, and host name, chosen during custom package install. On the server information page, enter ComServe, or gateway host name, which is the FQDN. You may use the IP address, but try not to use it. Please note. As we are configuring the custom package, to install the software in the coupled mode, the package will not communicate with the ComServe computer, during the installation. Also note, if you leave this field empty, then you would not see the following screens, they are skipped, and custom package creation starts. If proxy is needed for communication at a later stage, then select this option, to input the details. Do not select this option, as this decoupled install, and ComServe, will not connect to the computer to finish registration later. Client certificate is not needed at this moment. We will try discuss about it in another video. Getting the configuration from ComServe. Select the method, using which. The client installation or registration gets authenticated with the COM server. Perform registration using auth code. This option allows users to register the client computer using authentication code. Single sign on will use the user credentials of the person who is logged into the server during registration. 
Using Enter Credentials, you can type in the username and password, using which the client authentication should happen. Getting Client Configuration from the ComServe Checking Client Install Requirement with the ComServe Additional Configuration Screen This is where you predefine the sub-client policy, storage policy, and client group. Once the client is registered, you will see these fields automatically set in Convault. We do not have a sub-client policy, but if you have a list, then select one from the list. Select the appropriate storage policy from the list. We do not have a client group as well, but if you have one, then select one from the list. The custom package is getting created, with the selected answers. This might take a while, depending upon the agents selected. Custom package created successfully. Let's verify the package. Browse to the software location. Open the version.txt file. As you see the package is a V11, with service pack 24. You can see the selected components are listed here. This is the hotfix pack version. We will now use this package, and manually install the software, on the newly deployed server. If you want, you can also perform silent install. If your network is good, then you can install the software, from the remote network location. You can copy the software locally, and run locally, to avoid network issues or errors. Browse to the location where the software resides. The package is correct, and is the same one we created. Before we proceed with the install, let's check the answer file. Right click on the install.xml file, and open it with Internet Explorer or any other browser. This is the instance number which will be created. This is the ComServe info. If you see the ComServe host info is not defined, which means this server can be connected to any ComCell, and registered. This is the port number used for connection. This is the storage policy that will be assigned. These are the agents that will get installed on the computer. This is the user, that will be used to connect with ComServe later, for registration. Run setup.exe, with admin privileges. Please read and accept the license agreement. It checks for any running Convault services, and stop them. As this is a new server, we don't have any Convault service to stop. Installation starts, and runs automatically. We do not have any actions to perform. Now we wait until the installation finish. Software is configuring the installed agents. Finalizing the installation, and starting the services. Installation and configuration completed successfully. You can ignore the edge monitor, as we have not selected it during the package creation. Let's verify the installed agents. Open Programs and Features. Right click on Convault Content Store, and select Uninstall. On the Select Uninstallation option page, select, Uninstall only selected packages. 
As you see these are all the agents or packages that are installed on this computer. Launch Convault Process Manager. If you notice, the installation instance is instance 001 and the comserve host name is not defined. Processes tab shows relevant processes are running. Relevant Convault services are also running. Let's assign static IP address to this computer. IP address is successfully assigned. Now let's connect the computer to the domain. Unable to connect to the network or gateway or DNS, to establish connection with Active Directory. Unable to connect to the gateway. Disabling and enabling the NIC. Disabling and enabling the NIC didn't help. Rebooting the computer. There was issue connecting to the DNS, which we fixed it by entering correct DNS IP address. Unable to ping the comserve, as the computer is not yet connected to the domain. Let's connect it to the domain. The computer is now connected to the domain. We are now able to ping to the com server. As you see the computer is not yet registered with the com server. Let's register this computer in Convault. Log on to the com serve with a user with sufficient privileges to perform client registration. For this video, we are logging in using admin account. We have only one client in the com cell. Click on Home menu. Select New Client menu. From under File System, select Windows. 
new Windows Client Configuration page. In the Client Name text box, type in the display name as seen in the GUI. In the Host Name box, type the fully qualified domain of the computer. Ensure the FQDN is resolved to the computer IP, and vice versa. Select the option, Fetch the configuration information from the client, that is already installed in decoupled mode. By default, the connect to a client and get its configuration, option is selected. The default CVD port is 8400. If the port was changed during the installation, then type the CVD port, that was provided during the installation. Get client configuration from an input file on ComServe. Ideally it is not applicable for our discussion. Use this option, to retrieve the configuration information, from an XML input file on the ComServe, rather than from the remote computer. This can be used, to pre-configure a client, or media agent, even before the decoupled install of software, on the remote computer. On the optional data page, if you want to display the client, with a different name in the ComCell browser, select, overrides the client name checkbox, and enter a new name for the client. If required, and if the options are available to select, then you can override the client host name, and the ComServe host name. On the summary page, review the information you provided and then click finish. Sometimes it might take a while for the process to complete. On the registration status window, you see the process step taken, and status of each step, if completed successfully, or failed. When the registration process finishes, the client is listed under the client computers. The media agent is also listed, and is showing status as ready. Let's check client readiness. Client connectivity is showing ready. If the client is showing not ready, check if Windows Firewall is enabled on the client computer. If enabled, stop Windows Firewall, and if cannot be stopped, then ensure all ComVault binaries are excluded in Windows Firewall. You can now start the test backup for the client and check. For this video, to test backup, we pick a small file for backup. No matter what option you select, the first backup will always be a full backup, so you see the backup converting to a full backup. The backup job is seen in the job controller. The backup job has completed successfully. We will end this video here. Please hit the like button, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.